Hi, I'm Mary O'Brien and I work for Tusla under Mehel and I'm co-working uh, for the family with my lovely friend Joy O'Shockensey who works in the partnership. Today's session is the second session, it has four key messages and it's all about parenting, um, which is a really, really tough job uh, for us all. So when I think of parenting, I think of children um, getting angry. This is like the biggest obstacle that we have as parents. It's the biggest challenge. We get into battles and we end up down the road and not knowing what we started the argument about. So how do we pull that back? And one of the key messages that I learned as a parent and find is really, really helpful is press the pause button. Literally, press your pause button. So for me, it's stepping back, stay calm, think about the situation rather than keep answering back and having a tip for tat moment. Pressure pause button is going to help you in the long run to stay calm as a parent and your child. So how do we do that? We do that by remaining calm ourselves. The things that keep me calm is going for a walk, stepping back, removing myself from the situation, maybe making light of the situation, having a laugh. What keeps you calm? Think of the things that calm you down, the cup of coffee, the deep breaths, whatever it might be. And this is a way of calming the whole situation down and it looks a lot better after we press our pause button. The other thing to do is think positive about the situation. So how do we turn that aggravated situation, calm it down quicker and be more positive? Do something different. It's around saying to the kids, well, when you're calm, we'll go play a game. When you're calm, we'll go out for a walk. When you speak calm to me, I'll speak calm back to you. So let's try press our pause button, especially at this time. This is our second message of the parenting section of session two. So the key message here is baby see, baby do. And what are we really saying here? We're talking about modeling. We're talking about leading by example. How do we do that? Children are watching us all of the time. They copy us, naturally, all of our good things and all of the things that maybe we don't do so well. For example, if I'm on my phone and I'm doing, please get off your phones, don't be on your phones, and I'm on my phone, they're going to very quickly disobey that sort of command. So it's about putting the actions in and what we want from our children and us modeling that principle. Children learn from us all the time. So they copy our behaviors, so how we talk. Please, can you pass me that book? If you're saying that often enough, they're gonna say it back to you. So whatever language we use with our children, whatever actions we do with our children, they're gonna give back to us tenfold. And it's just being really mindful of that. I think we forget that every action we do, they're watching us. So the actions speak louder than words. Really, it's about what you're doing, they're watching, and that's what they're going to do. So if we're really mindful of that, we'll be using a modeling principle that our children will really benefit from. And they're gonna copy all that good stuff that you're doing every day. So we're on to our third key message of the parenting section. And that's catch your child being good. Your children are doing wonderful things every day. They're helping us, they're sharing with their siblings, they're doing lots of really good things. But it's us catching that, naming it, celebrating it, and really paying attention to it that makes all the difference for behaviour. Ignore bad behaviour. This is about not taking it personally. Children will test, they'll protest and push our boundaries. But what we do and how we respond is going to shape that parenting piece. And ignore means not going around huffing and puffing and saying, ah, it's really expressing yourself with a very neutral face, being really calm, not getting into answering them back. A real ignore means paying no attention to negative behavior. What's really vital is the minute they get back into speaking nicely or sharing or doing a good action, you name it, you praise it and you celebrate it. So that's the behavior you want to see more of. So when we ignore the bad behavior, then that goes away and reduces. But when we really praise the good behavior, we see more of it. The golden rule is four praises to one criticism. So if we think about children will have make mistakes, they will protest, they will get angry, and we will have to correct them. But if we do, 
what's the next opportunity to give that child four praise, praises to build their confidence. Say, well done for helping your sister. Thanks for sweeping the floor. I appreciate you emptying the dishwasher. And this will reinforce that behavior and you will see more of that behavior. Try it, it really, really works. The power of attention is really important with children. That's what they're looking for all of the time. Good or bad behavior, they will decide what to do. What we pay attention to, what you pay attention to grows. So what we pay attention to is what we're going to see more of. So when they're doing the good stuff, notice it. Catch your child being good. And when they're doing some of that negative stuff, see can you ignore it and see if that behavior goes away. So message four, the last one in our parenting section. Uh, don't think of a cute teddy. Okay, I want to know, what are y'all thinking about? Don't think of a cute teddy. I bet I know what you're thinking about. My magic bag. Ah, you're thinking about a teddy. And this is one of our big key messages in parenting. When we use the word don't, try switch don't to do's. So when we say don't run, a child will run. Say walk beside me please. It is proven in psychology with sports people that when they use the words don't for what they don't want them to do, the sports people do it. So if they say don't throw a fastball, that's exactly what will happen. If they say throw a slow ball, which is what they want, that's what will happen. So tell the child what you want. It's quite confusing to say don't. So when you say what you want, the child will understand what they have to do. It's a real habit, so it takes practice and practice. So when you're going to say don't, turn it into a do, which takes a moment or two to think about. Use positive instruction. So if you see a situation where you say don't shout, say please speak quietly or where they're grabbing a toy off their sister. Can you play nicely? So use the language and the behavior of what you want the child to do. This really makes a big difference. Don't instruction actually causes misbehavior. So get practicing. It's really a challenge in the beginning, but you get used to it. So remember, turn those don'ts into do's.